What's going on everybody here today with another Bodhi Tree Mental Health video. On this channel I talk about my own journey to severe mental illness, mainly obsessive compulsive disorder and severe chronic anxiety. The title of today's video is Why post Syndrome Seems So Real. Most people that have post Syndrome and come to my page probably don't like what they hear and they probably don't like what they hear because it goes against what they fundamentally are experiencing. People are experiencing post finasteride syndrome, therefore they feel that they have post finasteride syndrome. And it makes sense. There's a lot of physiological factors, starting with low libido and erectile dysfunction, but ranging into a variety of other problems. Stomach problems, skin problems, muscular skeletal problems, brain fog, sleep problems, weight problems, all types of physiological problems. And for those of people who just aren't that well read and don't really understand OCD and anxiety that well, it just doesn't seem to compute that everything that they're experiencing and all the narrative that they've been telling themselves in their head day in and day out, that the problem actually just comes from this day in and day out narrative. That it is actually the narrative of thoughts and feelings in their own mind that is making their body so sick. And so I wanted to... I wanted to talk a little bit about OCD in general, and so hopefully this will put in perspective how someone can become so convinced that they have something like post finasteride syndrome when in reality they don't actually, they're actually just suffering from, from the fear, from the psychological aspects of believing that they have this syndrome. There's a variety of OCD themes out here. This is basically obsessions or fears. They range from harming themselves and harming others, being a pedophile, being attracted to different family members, and other common one is also fearing that they have different diseases, going crazy, schizophrenia, developing cancer, fear of death, fear of throwing up, fear of leaving the house. There's an endless amount of obsessions and gives rise to a variety of compulsions. And let's take the most basic one, the most fundamental one, because the reality is is that the general public knows little to nothing about actual obsessive compulsive disorder. But when people think about obsessive compulsive disorder, typically they think about hand washing or symmetry, people that are very clean. So let's just talk about cleanliness. Let's just use this example, this very stereotypical, yet very small sliver of the OCD anxiety community that have an obsessions and fears around cleanliness. Think about how real it must feel that there is germs everywhere, that they could be getting contaminated with a serious disease or virus, that they could be spreading a, a, a life-threatening virus or disease or contagion to others. Think about the level of anxiety and the level of fear that one person that has contamination OCD, this, 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 this obsession, this fear drives them to first start washing their hands excessively and eventually over time will lead to them washing their hands until they're red, until they bleed, taking showers, first off multiple showers a day, showers that spend hours, constant cleaning and re-cleaning, constant checking, and eventually when OCD reaches a pinnacle, OCD basically takes over the individual's life in, the, in their entirety. And their entire life is just based around, you know, their entire life is literally just based around their fears around contamination. So I just want you to think about if fear can drive someone to all of these f behaviors and can utterly convince someone of all of these absurd fears and behaviors and these people um also also these these same people also experience a variety of physical and psychological symptoms that are in line with what you're experiencing with PFS why couldn't you be as convinced of PFS post finasteride syndrome as somebody else is of contamination or a variety of other OCD's themes. I hope this video finds you well. Peace out.